Welcome to the Rus Horse Archer Fast Castle Build Order Guide. You've probably seen this strategy being played quite a lot on ladder. Uh, with the exception of the Mongol Tower Rush, I do believe this is the strongest strategy going around, uh, especially for open land maps. In this video, I'm going to run you through the build step by step. If you are interested in getting access to the written version that I've created, uh, you can get this on my Discord, which I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. If you do find this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to help the algorithm do its thing, you know, all that tech stuff. Uh, now, let's just get into it. We're going to start with putting all our food, vills on food, except for two, which are going to build a hunting cabin. Now, with the hunting cabin, the more trees that it has in this radius, the more gold it's going to collect. So, you need to be conscious of the positioning here. I'm going to bring our two starting sheep back to our town center. And we're going to task all of our new vills onto food here. So instantly you want to be start scouting for your deer patches. See how lucky we get this game. Um, one of your vills after the hunting cabin go build a house. The other back onto food. So we can see a deer patch right here. We'll look for our second deer patch. It's a good chance that it's actually... Um, that it's actually on the same side. But um, so as soon as... Okay, we found it here. As soon as you have this hunting cabin built, you want to start building a scout. So if you have too many vills queued up, you're not going to be able to afford it. So just be conscious of that. So we're going to build two more scouts actually. In the previous patch, I would have said um, two scouts is enough for for the first age. But because you can't man the micro the deer anymore, um, it's gonna your scouts aren't actually going to do, be able to do much scouting for a while. So keep putting your new vills on food. Once this guy's finished with this deer patch, we're actually going to bring these sheep back because we need our vills are going to run out of these sheep soon. Um, so now what we want to be doing now with our scouts is we really want to be keeping an eye on them, right? It's not like other sieves where you can kind of just chill out while your vills get the resources to go to the next stage. You really want to be keeping an eye on them because you want to be spotting wolves. And the reason you want to be getting wolves is because they provide a bounty for the Rus. Um, not only do they give the 25 gold, um, it's going to contribute towards this bounty here, which actually improves your um, hunting cabin gather rate as well as your vills gathering hunts. So we want to put our sheep right next to the TC so there's no walking time. Um... This guy's done. He can shoot this. Now, I actually want to bring these sheep back because uh, I don't want to be running out of food. So, we got two wolves here. We'll kill those and bring bring, bring them back to your TC. We're luring them back to our TC. Um, so, our TC can do the killing. Now, we want to put all of our vills except for three onto uh onto wood here uh, we want to be prioritizing building a house and then we want to build a tower straight away now the wooden fortress actually increases the gather rate of wood by 20 percent so getting that down as soon as possible is really it's really nice it pays off very quickly as well uh, we didn't we didn't finish off this wolf with the TC. So we want to keep go scout out on the map. Ideally, if you're versing someone else, uh, you you'd send your third scout out to try and snag a few of their their hunts um, to to increase that bounty. But in this situation, just for an ex just for the build order, I don't want to take more than two because it's unlikely in a game that. Uh, you'll get any more than three you might you might get three if you're lucky uh, if your opponent isn't on the ball but otherwise you're most likely to get around um to get around two two to three um so we're killing wolves luring luring wolves back now one thing to keep in mind when you are luring wolves back is that if you run too far away from them they won't they won't continue to attack your scout so we want to build a Fortress here. Now, depending on your base structure, uh, you want to build 
actually, sorry, we're not going to build the fortress yet. We actually want to get professional scouts first. The way we're going to do that is we're going to sell 100 wood at our at our golden gate for 150 gold. So that's the main benefit of this landmark. You always want to be aging up with this. Um, it's really good. Probably the one, of, if not the best, one of the best uh, age two landmarks. Um, so after that, we want to get survival techniques. Now we want to build our wooden fortress. So enemy isn't going to have units coming into our base anytime soon. So um, it's good to get this up in advance. Not only does it boost the gather rate of wood, it's also actually going to protect your wood line. So we're bringing our scouts to the closest deer patch to our base. Um, just so we can get hunting on... Uh, deers as soon as possible as it is the fastest um, food source for uh, for uh, Rus. Now with all this excess wood we want to start building hunting cabins around trees to get the passive gold coming in. Make sure you try and get as many trees in the radius as possible. Okay now it's in professional scouts pick these up. Um, so we want four hunting cabins, ideally, is a good number that I've come to conclusion with, and then we want to drop our hunts off. Make sure you're clicking them on the TC, so you, with the hotkey of E, you want to be putting them right under the TC. Now, we want to have all wheels on food now, except for six. So once these guys are done, they can come to food as well. Keep bringing your hunt in. Make sure you don't get housed. And we're not actually collecting any gold with this build. We're relying solely on hunting cabins. Now, one thing I should mention as well is... See this radius? If this radius is touching this hunting cabin, neither of those hunting cabins will actually gather gold. So be cautious of that. Um, and make sure you're not, they're not overlapping. <clears throat> now we want to spread them out a little bit so our villages aren't bumping into each other too much. I don't know how those extra bills got onto wood. We'll bring them across to food now. Um, now we'll trade wood for gold here. Um, we'll go get our second hunt. So... We're at tier 2 now. Tier 2 should always be the initial goal. Um, so killing as many wolves so you can get there. If you're just short of tier 2, you can kill these sheep. So these sheep will give you 5 bounty as well as 5 gold. Um, to try and get into the tier 2 earlier on. So continue bringing these deer back. Start trading food for gold. So now we have the gold to age. So this build is crazy. You'd never have to get gold, so you don't have to be worried about raids on there. You've got towers to protect your uh, wood line. Now we want to age with about 10 bills on the landmark. So we're getting a pretty competitive time up here with our professional scouts. Now in this transition period, you want to be sending bills out the back of your base to start building archery ranges. Now we want to be building three initially. Okay, we don't have quite enough wood income at the moment, so we'll take some bills across to wood. So that as soon as we age, we can start massing um, horse archers. Now in the initial stages of castle, um, you want to be you want to be um, roughly 50/50 on um, your build distribution. Now, as soon as you age, two things you want to do. Build a monk, start making horse archers. So, we'll send these guys to wood. These guys are doing a bit of long distance chopping right now, which is not ideal. Oh, what am I doing? Send them too far away. Um, we'll get this guy to pick up the last deer carcass here. Just 
Ask ourselves. Oh, sometimes it's a pain in the ass. It's so hard to find the last deer carcass. If you're watching this, you're probably going, It's right there, it's right there. But I'm I'm blind. I, I, I can't see this shit. I'm half color blind, so... Um, for now, we'll just continue focusing on this. So now, as soon as you get a, a monk out, you want to go uh, get some relics. Now, basically, with this build, as soon as you hit castle, assuming they're not in your face with a bunch of units, you really want to be focusing on getting out onto the map with your horse archers. Um, you want to be securing those relics, taking sacred sites, killing bills, all that good stuff. So we've come out with our monk, make sure he's safe. Now we can go out onto the map. Two things you can do. If you know he has a big army and you don't think you can take it head on, go kill the boars. Boars are going to give you extra bounty. Um, so it's really nice. Um, so we brought that relic back. We've got our second monk. I'm going to continue gathering uh, relics here. There, kill, kill the boar. Uh, continue massing horse archers. As soon as you have a bit of excess wood here, you want to build a blacksmith and potentially a fourth archery range. Depending on how much pressure you're under, what your macro is looking like, if you think you can afford it or not. You can also start trading, now that we have a, a good gold income, what we want to... Oh, I never built this. That's awkward. Um... You want to be spending your gold on blacksmith upgrades, and then when you don't have blacksmith upgrades to get, um, outside of continuous monk production, you really want to be um, utilizing the trade feature here. Now, what we can also do with our hunting cabins here, if they have a lot of melee units like uh, knights or horsemen or whatever it may be, you can build scouts. They're a great tanking unit, so they're cheap, they can kill siege, um, so make sure you're utilizing this. So we bring back relics. We'll go capture sacred sites now. We want to continue massing. So we got five archeries. Get your attack upgrade here. And as soon as you start depleting these hunts here, you do two things. One of two things, if you've got a close boar, this spawn's particularly bad. If you have a boar near your base, um, and you're not feeling any pressure, you're on the aggression, they're on the back foot, you can go out and take the boars. If, if you're on the more defensive, um, you can go out and take berries. So now we're massing scouts as well. One thing you want to do when, when you've like secured sacred sites and... All that good stuff. Uh, you really want to be... Oh, here we go. I think we got our wooden fortress, huh? Um, so once you're securing sacred sites... Secured the sacred sites, sorry. You really want to be keeping your monks in battle. Now, the main reason why is they have a unique... Um, a unique feature. So, they actually buff your units in, in a nearby radius. So... It's gonna if you're if you're there mixed in with your scout batch, all your scouts are gonna have improved stats, um, and some of your close horse archers, horse archers will. Now here's some text that you can kind of spend um, when you have excess gold. So uh, we're just gonna let our macro go a bit sloppy here. I just want to talk through some of these. So uh, it's called Saints Blessing, and it has a duration on it. Um, some of the upgrades is increasing the duration by 10 seconds, um, increasing the range of the blessing. So like more of your horse archers will be blessed when in a fight. Um, and in this improves the damage of a blessing by one. So I'll, I'll show you. Here we go. If we take a look at the scout. It's got it has uh, four fire lance attack. Um, and no armor. 
So let's 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 go fight these guys. One thing you want to be conscious of as well is when you start running out of food, you want to be macro to have more bills on wood. Um, just because you want to start placing farms preemptively, you don't want to get to the end of your food source and be like, oh shit, like, uh, I have no food. You want to have already started transitioning. Okay, let's see here. So we got our monks here. Let's attack. So four attack goes up to six and we have plus one armor for melee and ranged. So this is going to, this is quite huge in a fight. So something you want to keep in mind you can also upgrade the attack by an extra one with the excess gold that you're going to be having um from all this free free generation um and you always want to be creating them so they're, they're reasonably cheap um 120 resources for something that buffs up like 15 units around it or more um is really really impactful so the scouts become tankier and do a little bit more damage as well and your cav archers are going to be doing damage, especially if you have the improved range. So that is the build. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. I know you may have seen everyone doing it, but I thought I'd run you through how you can kind of maybe optimize your build if you're kind of winging it. Um, this this strategy is really, really strong. Um, I don't think a nerf's coming up for the next patch for it, but I think it... It'll be even stronger once spring olds are nerfed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you found it helpful, um, please like and subscribe for more guides and videos coming in the future. Um, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.